Hey guys, uh, Derek here. I, uh, I'm going to do a test run of these new AC Unity bags for uh, MP5 9mm. And at the range today, I've got a Jeff Walters, a Gilly Bear built uh, PCS MP5 Navy, all German parts on uh, an LSC receiver. Uh, I just want to show you, gun safe right now. Got an unloaded HK German mag. I just want to show you on this particular gun. It's got what I would call, Jeff's gun here has got what I'd say is a, a very uh, accepting mag whale. It's got a little play, as all of them really do, but it really, you know, the metal mags go in and out very, very easily. Why is that important? On this particular gun, compared to some of the other ones where the mags didn't go in, this one, the mags go in fairly easily, and I can hear it click. now. That could be good or bad. I haven't fired this yet, so we'll see. I've seen some of these videos of people blowing their mags out, but I don't know if it's because they didn't have it seated in there or because that little plastic catch doesn't lock up really good. So, so we'll see. But, but these are completely different in and out than some other guns, including the factory HK guns, where they're really tight and need a lot of modification to really get to uh, an acceptable tolerance, if you will. But that clicks right in, as you can see. It comes out much easier than the other one. Very easy. So I've got a mag loaded up to 14. I've got a mag loaded up to 40. And uh, we're gonna take this thing for a test drive and, and just see how it does. First shots fired ever. This gun has never had a malfunction, ever with uh, all the metal mags, the HK and the POF metal mags. I don't use any of the other ones. So Jeff, if this doesn't work, it's no knock on your work or, or at all, because you, you make awesome stuff. But we're gonna test these mags out. If they run, they run, and I'll be excited. So stand by, we'll fire it up. Okay, yeah, so uh, same stuff here. Before we shoot, I just realized that the bolt was locked back and I was showing you that. I just wanna show you that um, bolt forward is the same thing. Uh, having the bolt locked back can make it easier sometimes, sometimes not. But again, here's bolt forward, the same magazine, in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, so very easy compared to those other guns. Um, can't say it made much of a difference. Now, a mag fully loaded, here's one with 40 bolt forward. I can, I can tell I've got to push a little harder just to make sure I hear that thing seat. And before I've even shot yet, um, the disadvantage there is I, can't, I don't really have a uh, tactile feel of a click and I can't with my ear muffs, my ear plugs in, I can't really hear it. So again, for just general range use, that's fine. But I can also see where some people may be blowing their mags out because they're not getting it seated in there. None of those are seated fully, okay? So if we go bolt back on the full mag, even eep, there, even there it was a little bit tricky, okay? And that's just, again, the differences in the, in the tolerances here with the mags. So that wouldn't be a problem with this gun with a metal mag. But anyway, enough talking, let's shoot. Okay, AC Unity, nine millimeter MP5 bags. Test gun is a PCS. 9mm, it's all German parts kit, MP5 Navy on Jeff's PCS receiver. First mag we're going to try was the one I showed you, loaded to 14 rounds. We got a steel target down here at 15 yards. 14 rounds, we've got it seated, just doing the push pull. It's in there, okay? So that, that's in there. That's, that is caught. All right, let's see what it does. I know somebody out there is waiting for me to say the bolt didn't lock back. Well, no duh. Just playing. Okay, 40 round mag. Now remember, on this one, we got to be careful that we get it get it seated. So that one is bolt back. It's seated and pushed and pulled. It's not coming out. 40 rounds. AC unity.
malfunctions. I didn't blow the magazine out. I'm going to shoot a little bit more. We'll put a little bit more on video. But um, I got to say, Jeff, looks like you're right. Maybe some of the other stuff we saw from these test runs uh, was operator error, as could be the case. So that was the first two magazines. Not one malfunction. We'll do a little more shooting in a minute. Stand by. All right, I got two more mags loaded up. One with 20 rounds, one with 26. Let's just run through these and, and see what happens. All right. Again, don't really hear or feel the click, but push-pull confirms it's in there. I put in at the end of the box. So again, that one actually kind of heard click and push pull confirms it's in there. So if this mag were to blow out, it is seated. 26 rounds, AC Unity. keeping these mags obviously I've worked on them I wouldn't be sending them anywhere but but I'll keep them I don't know that I would use them in competition just because of the, uh, the fitment scenarios getting in and out versus the metal mags but based on this for range blaster full auto use or whatever this might be a winner right here nothing's been done to these mags this has the follower in it that uh, when you load them unload them or when I was playing with the guns sometimes I'd get a little follower tilt um, more use will tell if that is a problem or not, but so far, so far so good. So you saw it with your own eyes, folks. Hope that helps you make a decision. And uh, Jeff and Robert at RTG, thank you guys for always bringing good stuff and being a great part of the HK uh, community.